Hey you internetters, welcome back to another pin spinning video and suggested by few of you We will be learning how to do the Iteza And for those of you who do not know what the Iteza is or what it looks like Here's a quick video of Iteza doing the pin trick he created And so as you can see in the video the Teza is a continuous pen trick and basically how it's done is place it on your finger like this. So you will have the pen rest on your middle finger and then from there your thumb and your index finger will hold the pen just like this. From there you will literally just move your thumb out the way like that and push the pen forward with your index finger. And once you're able to do that you'll have the pin coming back in this position. And so now that we know how the Iteza works, let's just get right into learning the Iteza. And hopefully it doesn't take too long. And I guess we'll just get started from here. And so at the start of learning the Iteza, I was working on getting the setup correctly with the pin and on my middle finger, but my fingers were acting weird and it was feeling awkward. So it, I had a little bit of a struggle right there in the beginning. But other than that, all I did with this one session was focus on getting the pin to spin around my index finger and having it land somewhere between my index finger and my thumb, which is basically for this case, the thumb flap, which you're not really wanting to do that with the Teza, but for now, that's acceptable for me. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to learn the Teza in this one sitting. I was struggling with getting the pin to consistently go around my index finger properly and also having problems with catching the pin. And so basically after this one session of practicing for the Teza, this is basically what I ended up with. Now we're gonna move on to the second session that I did with uh, learning the Teza. And basically in this session, all I did was focus on practicing the catch with the pin. And as I mentioned earlier, I was catching it in my thumb flap and you really don't wanna do that. What you really wanna do instead is actually catch the pin with your thumb tip or with the thumb tip and with the support of the index finger. And so that's what we're gonna be focusing on today. So today is day two of learning the Iteza and yeah, we'll just get started. And so on day two of learning this Iteza, I was struggling a little bit when I was trying to try new ways on how to catch the pin with my thumb. And eventually it didn't take me too long for me to actually start getting used to the new way of catching the pin. And so with me being able to catch the pin the correct way, I guess you could say, with the thumb tip sort of, uh, I went ahead and actually continued to push forward the lesson and try to actually do the Iteza continuously. And so the question is, how are you supposed to practice to do the Iteza continuously? And for me, all I did was I would do one Iteza and I would quickly try to do a second Iteza right away and right after the first one. And that's, and that's it. I would stop right there and I would slowly increment and add on to it. And so after practicing the Teza to try to get it to do it continuously, here's basically what I ended up having by the end of the second session of practice. When I'm practicing for the continuous Teza, I kind of sort of got it down, but I still have a slight problem. And basically, when I'm, when, if you notice in the clip, when I'm doing the Teza, right after the first one and I'm trying to go to the second one, there's a slight pause in the pin and I don't like that. I kind of want to make it go smoother. And so basically what that means is we kind of got a little bit more to go before we can say that we learned this pin trick. Day three, learning the Iteza. Getting the Iteza to actually go a little bit smoother than, and not have that stop was actually the hardest part for me in learning this pin trick, mainly because it's the timing of the thumb. And basically after you push the thumb with the first Iteza, you kind of got to pull it back and then get it ready to set up to push a second time. And that pull back, the, you want to minimize that motion as much as possible and as little as possible and get it enough to actually start pushing the second one. And the faster you're able to do that, the smoother the pin is, which 
basically was the struggle that I was facing. Though, it was there anything that I did different? No, I just took a lot of extra time practicing and trying to increase the speed of how I move my thumb and that's pretty much it. Nothing fancy about this trick, it's pretty much straightforward, it takes a little bit of practice. Um, for me, I struggled a little bit with it. After all of this, this is what I ended up doing for the Teza. And so I spent a total of six hours and 22 minutes in learning the Teza. And so that's pretty much all I have for today's video. But I do want to take a couple of minutes off and say I want to thank each and every one of you out there for all your love and support for the channel. We made it to the 1000 subscriber mark. And to be honest with you, I didn't think I'll get this far in doing this type of video or anything in general. I just started doing this kind of for fun and just to see how far it'll go. But I, I thought I would peak around like, you know, a few hundred subscribers, but I didn't think I would actually go this far and get a thousand. That's pretty much it. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching and until next time.